afternoon, it's British Legion and welcome to part two, the final part to, of the Japan, Japanese Imperial Navy fleet box for um, Victory at Sea. Uh, I've, I've done all the ships, I've painted them all, uh, I've done the camera on the carrier. Uh, but what I want to do quickly at the start of this video, I've done this a couple of years ago I think, uh, I, I told you, or a year ago, um, about how I do the sea bases. Uh, but I did waffle on in the video and you might not have made it to the end to actually when I talked about it. So I'm going to talk about it now in a different format. Uh, I'm going to run some sh uh, photographs of the ships in their various stages uh, of the sea and, uh, and show the paint that I did it and I'll talk over the top. So the first picture you're going to see is the base colour of the sea tone uh, which is a Vallejo uh, deep Prussian blue and um, that's just normally just brushed on uh, and make sure everything's covered and then make sure it's thoroughly dry for some reason this paint the pigment in it does take a while to dry so uh, make, make take your time and make sure it's dried and then do the dry brushing effect with this next picture uh, which is the light light blue uh, and you see the the paint pot in the picture uh, but when you do the dry brushing I always find it's easier to go from the stern of the boat up to the bow so you're going against the grain of the waves and the brushes will catch, the brush will catch the waves better. So once that's thoroughly dried, each stage has got to be really dried out before you apply the next, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and then you use a wash, which is the green, a green wash, but any wash will do, um, as long as it's green. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and apply that uh, very uh, liberally, liberal, you know, apply it really well and make sure that's really dried out before you apply the next stage which is a dry brushing again the the um, the foam of the waves as the ship plows through the sea and again do it from the stern of the ship and up to the bow uh, so and you'll get the better effect uh, and once that's thoroughly dried again uh, this is the second the second best technique is to apply the, um, the satin varnish and then you get that nice little sort of um, depth of tone with the blue wash, uh, the green wash coming through. So, and that's it. It's really simple, but you just have to be patient and wait for each stage to, to really dry out. So that's enough of my waffle. Um, I've only got the Italian fleet to do now, and I might do that uh, some point this year, but uh, I'll do something else next. So enjoy the next few photos. Um, I hope you like them. Um, I have gone for the... This uh, the ship colour I've I like to go with, uh, even though uh, a lot of the Jap ships were probably grey and not not like a dark green, but uh, I do like that colour. I think it suits the Japanese fleets uh, ships really well. Anyway, enough of my waffle. Catch you in the next one. See ya. <laughs> 